the flaps off. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm not in my van today. Uh, I'm in the middle of the Amazon forest. Uh, I'm in French Guiana. And recently I saw a video of uh, Magnus Mig Migbo. I'm never sure how to say his name. The Norwegian climber. Anyway, his video about the magic push-up challenge. And I thought that was really fun, stupid and hard. So I had to try it. So for the one who don't know the idea, the concept is to hold a stick with your two hands and to balance the stick over a bar and to do a pull-up while you're balancing your weight. So let's try. Wait, this this wrench is on the way. Better. <laughs> it's way harder than it look. It's really hard. Actually, Magnus show a progression of the exercise, starting by doing um, push-up, um, balancing on the stick. So, let's try with that. Oh, and by the way, if you never saw a growing pineapple, um, this is pineapple growing here. I, I just realized I'm, I'm left-handed. So it would be better to try with the left hand first, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try with the right hand. Okay. <sighs> oh. okay. That's hard. I mean, it's not so hard. It would be pretty much the same than doing one arm push up, but with like the balance. I'm gonna try to give it a go on the left hand. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I did like the open legs technique of the one arm pull up, but maybe it will work with closed legs. Okay, it's way harder with the legs together. Okay, let's go back on the pull-up now. So okay, back to the pull-up. Let's find the best way to hang, because still right now the hard part is to hang comfortably, or as comfortably as possible. And I don't know, I'm not sure about the opposite hand. I think, I think it's, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, so you really have to put your... That's tiring. Yeah, so you really have to engage your body on the side because if you stay like in, in between your arms, the balance is not working. That's super hard. And you, you kind of have to, because the hardest part is like, you kind of have to push a little bit with this arm up to keep this safe on the bar. If you stop pushing, this is where you, you're falling. I tried the other end, but I, I'm a bit less comfortable. Uh. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a little break and um, try the pull-up. I think I'm ready to try the pull-up. Okay, I'm gonna take off my flip-flop because that's a extra weight. Okay, I don't know. By doing the balance, I, I put the stick over my head and I get stuck. So I have to find a way to keep the stick in front of me. Ooh. Okay, that's that's tiring. Second attempt of the pull-up. That's better. I will not count it as a success yet because I had my eyes in front of the bar and normally the way you count a pull-up is you need to put your shin above the bar. But that feels better. Okay, so I try the other arm and it don't really worth showing. And I took a proper three minute rest before trying again on the good arm. If you do power training, three minutes rest is normally the, the right amount of rest you should have between sets when you do power training. It's different with other type of training, but this is definitely power training. Okay, let's try again. The flops off. Uh, I was over, my chin was over, but then I slept. I don't know if it counts. Does it count? I don't know. Maybe it counts, I don't know. Still, I'm gonna rest three minutes more and try again. I don't slide this time. I up. I hear a weird noise in the tree. If you're lucky, that's a monkey. If you're not, that's a snake. <laughs> Fucking ants. Okay, third attempt of the magic pull-ups. Flip flop off. <sighs> okay. <sighs> this one is the the real first one magic pull up that's that's super hard that's way more harder than it looks because it looks like you're using two hands to do the it looks like you're using two arms to do the pull up but actually it's really just a one arm pull up so if you're not comfortable with one arm pull up this Definitely, it's gonna be super hard. I'm curious to know if you can really like do many in a row. I didn't see many people do it on the internet and I didn't see anyone doing it like super clean. But if you saw a video of someone doing it super clean, put it in the comment section, I will check it out. I think before ending this video, I'm just gonna try again. Oof. I think I should not do so much more because that's really tiring on the shoulder. I don't want to injure myself. I'm going back to climbing next week, so I want to be in shape. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of uh, challenge and content, I definitely recommend you to follow Magnus channel that I'm gonna put in the description box. Also, if it's really the kind of content you enjoy, let me know in the comment section because I love doing this kind of challenging and stupid thing, but usually I don't feel myself doing it. So if it's a type of content uh, you enjoy, let me know, I can do more of that. I'm coming back to Sweden next week. I will be back to the van and I will continue 
the series about the Echo van build and I wrote a lot of new video. I just need to be back to the van and record them. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next one. <sighs> Bye.